Hi all, uh, welcome back to another session on web methods. In this session, I'll let you know like uh, how do you deploy packages from one server to another server. So I've installed uh, one more server on my machine. So now I've created all my exercises on all the demos in one of the server. Now I've done the testing and all, so it has worked. Now it's, let, let's assume that that's uh, at test server. So how do you generally deploy the packages from uh, dev to test, let's see. Yeah. So this is my server where I have all the packages. Yeah. So now what I'll do is I'll go to solutions and I'll also show you my other instance local post. I kept it on another instance called 8383. I'll show you here. See, I don't have any of the packages. This is some fresh installation which I've done. Now I want to move the packages from this server to that. So what I'll do, I'll go to solutions. I'll go to deployer. And for deployer to happen, we need to have something called remote server alias to connect the source and target, and also a package called the WM deployer resource. So, first add the uh, remote servers in this ISNTN, add the remote server alias. We'll say it as source server. Thank you, localhost. And what is this? Straighter and save changes. Let's see if this will work or not. Sorry, I know why. Save changes and Okay. See, now you are connected to this remote server alias. Now let me take my target server. Save changes. See, now I'm connected to my target server also. So I got my source server. Now I got my target server. Now I refresh this page. Yeah. So I got my servers. Let's see. Uh, it says uh, install the resource package to ISNTN. Now, if I go and check here first, it says the target server is running, but WM resource package is not installed. So you need to install this WM resource uh, package. How do you do it? Just select the servers where you wanted to do it. Just click on install and click OK. So the WM uh, resource package is installed. How do you check it? Just go to packages and uh, go down to WM deploy resource. See, you can see this. Same thing in target server also. Can you just go here? It's WM deploy resource, right? So that is done. Now let me go back to the deployer and create projects. So create a projects, go to deployer projects, click on created projects and say deployment demo, create. Yeah. Once you create, you'll get all these details. Check all those details and then save it it's already saved now let me go here first you need to define your project so you create a set and click on this 
and select your source server and click on save yeah so the connection is successful you will see all the packages that are present in it now let me select all the packages that i need to deploy in my target server i will not deploy the default that's a default package so i'm selecting all my packages now which i have developed in my dev server and tested it it is working fine and remember in one of the exercises i've taken edi samples also i'll take this and click save if there are any errors it will show you in unresolved dependencies yeah so it says there are some unresolved dependencies click on check see it says these things like uh, yeah these are some uh, errors it is throwing let's do one thing let's add showed me these things are not there so i am adding it acls uh, are existing so i'll just keep it as exist and click save Still, it says that these are missing. <clears throat> so, so what one of FEDI samples? Quick. Okay, I'll ignore this for now and see later. So this is done now. Let's go and build it. So it is creating my build in the background. So it has created the build. You can export your build also. And go to map your target server. Click on deployment map, create, and map the target server which is this click add it has added my target server i go to deploy create deployment candidate create and click on simulate to generate the deployment candidate it will show some errors because we missed something right see these things are not there so that's why it is throwing errors which i'll uh, see later on So I'll create a checkpoint. Checkpoint is created. Final step is to deploy. So it is deploying that. You can even see some warnings is there because of that missing thing. See? All these are installed now. And you can see that there are some, uh, yeah. Just let's go here and see what's happening. See? In my... 8383, now I got the packages that are required. Yeah, ignore the other one which happened, but this is how you generally deploy all the packages from one server to other server. Thank you.